Hi there, welcome to Money Box by Rookie Manager. My name is Kelly Murungi. We haven't posted a video in a while, guys, but I hope you're keeping to your money goals. I hope you're up to date with the 52 week challenge. I hope you've not gotten derailed because we have to keep going, guys. Today, I want us to talk about something that Albert Einstein described as the eighth wonder of the world. That's the magic of compound interest. So stay tuned, we are gonna do some math. So why are we doing this math today? Because if you don't understand how compound interest works, it is very, very hard to make a financial plan and very, very hard to grow your wealth with the money you're earning today. And so I want us to first understand how it works and then see how we can apply compound interest to our financial plans. Now, if you remember in primary school math, I think it was in class six when we did interest, we had two types of interest. We had simple interest and we had compound interest. So with simple interest, if you save a hundred shillings, say for five years at 10%, it means every year you get 10% of your hundred shillings. So year one, you will get 10 shillings as interest. That's 10% of a hundred. Year two, the same. Year three, the same up to year five. So at the end of five years, you will have 150 shillings in total. Now, compound interest works a little bit different. Every amount you save, the interest it earns also earns you money. So say you save 100 at 10%, the first year your fund will be equal to 110, right? So 10% of 100. So come the second year, we have now capital of 110, so 100 plus 10. Then we subject it to the 10% interest. So our interest for second year is a bit higher. It's 11 shillings. So your fund at the end of year two will be 121 shillings. Remember, if you're simple interest, it will be just 120 shillings. Now, why is this important when it comes to investments? I want to use a couple of examples to demonstrate this. So stay with me and let's do this together. Say you have a hundred thousand today that you'd like to invest and you invest it in a government bond that's earning 12% net of even taxes per year. And we are thinking long term here and you'll see why at maybe for 15 years, if you compound that amount at the end of 15 years, you will have 0 0.6 million. Remember you invested a hundred thousand. So 500,000 is literally free money, you know, money that you've not made. It's just your interest that has earned you that money. If you double the amount, say you invest 200,000 at 12% for 15 years, you end up with 1.2 million. So 1 million Bob, free money. But then you tell me, you know, Kelly, I don't have 100,000 to invest. I don't have 200,000. I just have little amounts per month. So let's work some math on that. Say you have just 2,000 shillings, you've just started off your career and you can only set aside 2,000 shillings per month, but then you will keep getting, you know, uh, pay rises throughout your career. And so we say that you will keep increasing your savings by 10% every month and you will be investing it immediately into an avenue that earns you the same 12%. At the end of 15 years, this money that you've been saving little by little will have grown to 1.7 million shillings, of which 0 0.7 million is your contribution. Remember you started at 2,000 and every year you've kept growing it by 10%. Let's look at it another way. Say you're, you're earning now 100,000 shillings and you, you want to just save 10% say towards your kids school fees or your future child's school fees or towards um, a retirement nest egg whatever it may be and you take 10 percent that's 10,000 a month and you keep growing it by 10 percent just like the 2,000 at the end of 15 years you will have 8.7 million shillings saved up and if you remove the effects of inflation that's a bit more complicated to calculate you end up with about six million in today's terms. What will you do with six million today? I mean, we could you could make a down payment for a house, 
you could pay for a decent degree, maybe in a private uh, university, and so on and so forth. So that is how compound interest works. It leverages two things. One, time. Because you realize if you save for a short time, say five years, you don't really get to experience the magic because your interest hasn't grown enough to earn you enough of, of the free money. That's time. And second, the rate of return. Even if it's low, like 12%, as we've projected, you can see it is substantial. But if you risk your money and in some years you end up losing money, then compound interest doesn't work as beautifully as if you, if you invest in an avenue that gives you a consistent rate of return. And then the third thing, of course, is consistency. If you don't have a big balance to start with, you need to keep going every month, every month, save that money, accumulate it, invest it so that then you get to benefit from the magic of compound interest. So that's basically it. In the next couple of posts, we will be applying compounding or compound interest principles to think about money. So if you've not understood, I will put a link um, in, the, in the description box just explaining how compound interest works. I'll also put up a compound interest calculator an Excel worksheet that you can use to project to see how, how your money will grow. And then we take it from there. So that's it, guys. Till next time, I want you to keep saving. Please, if you've fallen off track with your savings goal, it's never too late to get on board and get compound interest working for you. Remember, if you have any questions or topics that you'd want me to cover, leave it in the comments uh, box and connect with me on my socials, whose link um, links I'll put in the description box. Till next time, goodbye.